Okay guys, here's another how-to video for you guys. So complaint is, if I leave the fuel setting in the on or reserve position and I park it overnight, when I come out in the morning and I go to start the engine, it's flooded. And I actually have to remove the spark plugs from the engine, turn the engine over to get the fuel out of the engine. Now, if I leave it in the off position like this, I don't have that problem. So what it means is that the fuel is flowing through the fuel lines into the carburetor and flooding the engine when it just sits overnight. Now, if I leave it in the on position or reserve position, literally like for 20, 30 minutes, like I park, I go eat lunch and I come back, usually I'm okay. It's just when I sit overnight that it gets too much fuel. So anyway, this is what I found and what I did to fix it. Typically, when you have a situation like this, first thing you're gonna look at is the needle and seat. But usually when the needle and seat leaks down, you're also gonna have popping and flooding while the engine's running and idling. In this case, it idles perfect, it runs perfect. The only time it does it is in the evening. So I wanted to help you guys out with a possible uh, issue so this is right here is where the needle and seat is <clears throat> and inside is this piece here okay and then there's a rubber o-ring that goes right here around the deal and if you look at these o-rings here this is the o-ring that came off of it they just broke in half they're so dried out and they're so shrunk that they're 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 crispy Okay, and that's usually where the fuel is going to leak by on the needle and seat. When it sits overnight, it's just going to continue to drip, drip, drip until in the morning. It'll still turn over. It's not so flooded that it won't turn over, but it will it may turn over slow. It could even get to the point where it floods so much it hydrolocks. But in this case, um, that's 9 times out of 10. That's probably what your problem is. Um, in this case, I have my old needle and seat here. I looked at the tip of it. The tip is actually still soft on it. It doesn't look all worn out. Hard to see in the video there, but I am putting new seats in. So lucky me, I went back through all my stuff and I actually ran across this carburetor kit I had where apparently I didn't use the seats out of it. Um, I must've used some gaskets or something that I needed for maybe one carb or something, but for whatever reason, I had all three seats in it and they're exactly the same length as the originals. So I'm gonna use the seats out of that to replace the seats, and we're only gonna be replacing the seats. We won't be replacing the metal part because they're brass, and as long as they're clean, you should be fine. So, okay, and I'm also replacing the seals. Now, one of the things I wanna tell you is if you buy these cheap kits on eBay, <clears throat> a couple things to look out for. The needles and seats on these things are not the right ones. The lengths of them are wrong. The seat has got a smaller pinhole in it, so it's gonna allow less fuel. You really wanna buy a Window Rosa um, kit. Usually they have the right length needles and seats in them. Um, and then, even then, you still wanna buy these factory O-rings. Um, I bought these online wish I could get you a part number. I think that is the part number right there, 75-92055-1246. These are the O-rings for the needles and seats. So here's the O-rings that came in the cheap eBay kit. You can see how fat they are. And then you look at the one that comes, the factory one. It's a little bit skinnier. You'll never get those in. When you force them in, usually you rip the gasket. So you really wanna get the right ones on. Clean this out really good. I use a q-tip I'll stick it in there turn it over and over and over to clean it out. I'm using some rubbing alcohol um, To clean it out 91 isopropyl alcohol to clean This completely out clean the screen. This is what you call a fuel inline fuel filter basically So this is one of the other filters inside the carburetor that tends to get dirty often um, so I clean this out really good with some alcohol, then I'll blow it out with air, and I just clean the crap out of this thing. Um, you can even use a little 
Oops, it's hard to do this and hold it. Use a little wire brush and just on the edge, clean the edge there where the, the old gasket used to be to make sure you get all the old particles out. Clean the inside like I'm doing here and turn this around and around with the Q-tip to clean where the seat sits in that area to make sure you get everything out and then blow it out with air. Okay, then put your new seal on and uh, usually that'll fix the problem. So <clears throat> you wanna make sure when you put this in that when it's facing in, it needs to be facing towards the screw. So center it in where the screw goes there, like that. You don't want it turned like that the screws not going to line up right and also the the uh, fuel lines running in and out through those areas anyway those are just a few tips hope that helps